please welcome up Isla Larson. Good morning, guys. How's it going? I'm so excited to restart us off this morning um, with Restart. So uh, first, who the heck am I? I didn't know he was going to intro me, so I guess we sort of answered that. But I'm a writer, author, and poet, and those are just three words that mean I really love words. Um, currently, I am senior copywriter at Vladimir Jones, so I work with all of these cool cats, and this is how we dress every single day. <laughs> now, obviously, this is Halloween. This was just last week. Um, so he kind of talked about uh, simple ideas, and I feel like simple truths have really helped me and sort of been the driving uh, thing behind my success so far, and it's because simple truths are irresistible and irrefutable. The best ideas and life decisions often come when we embrace simple truths. And simple ideas are sometimes the most powerful. So today I'd like to share with you a simple and powerful perspective on restart. So we all need a restart in our lives from time to time. We get stuck or we get writer's block or we're just not sure what to do next. But I'm not going to talk about a specific restart in my life. I'm going to talk about what restarts me and hopefully what can restart you. When I see this word, I see rest and art. When you need a restart, the word itself is a roadmap of what to do next. So let's start with rest. When you need a restart, you're often exhausted of continuing on the same path. You're tired of the same old thing. You need rest. And it's the first thing that you need, which is why I believe it's the first part of this word. So, if you are a night owl like me, I definitely got the night owl sticker, or if daylight savings has just kicked your ass this week, or if you're simply a grown-up adult, rest means sleep, and sleep is terrific. Sleep is the restart that we get every single day. It's sort of the human equivalent of a restart button on a computer. When people say, sleep on it, it's like they're telling you, have you tried turning it off and turning it back on again? <laughs> so adults need an average of seven to nine hours of sleep. How many of you got that much sleep last night? Now, don't, don't raise your hands, I'll just be jealous. <laughs> With everything that we have to do, it's really tough sometimes to get that much sleep. But when we don't get enough sleep, we decrease our productivity, our creativity, our focus, and our mental sharpness. It's like you're operating at 65%. Rest restarts you and gets you back to 100. So rest can also be defined as not just sleep, but anything that gets your mind off the issue at hand. Rest is simply taking a break. And that's okay, because your brain is so amazing. It is thinking even when you don't think it is. So one of my favorite quotes of all time is from the show Mad Men, where uh, Don Draper, the beautiful John Hamm, <laughs> tells his copywriter, Peggy, just think about it deeply, then forget it, and an idea will jump up in your face. And it's true that for me, if I've thought about something deeply enough, if I step away from it, the wheels in my brain will keep turning, and inspiration will happen when I least expect it. So an example of this is the Greek mathematician Archimedes. He was relaxing at the public bathhouse when he discovered how to solve the issue of fraud in the making of a gold crown. He saw how his body displaced water, and he cried, Eureka, because he had found it. And the story goes that he ran naked through the streets of Syracuse, uh, Sicily, not New York. <laughs> But the issue, or but the, the thing is, is that he found the answer when he wasn't even thinking about it. He was just resting. Well, this doesn't mean that you can just take a nap on your office floor and bill it to creative concepting. I wish. But it does mean that if you take a step back from things and clear your head, you can rejoin and look at it with fresh eyes. So some other ways to do this, uh, naps are obviously great. Um, and keep a notepad by your bed. Think about the problem before you go to sleep. And often, when you wake up in the morning, or sometimes at 3.17, you'll have an idea. Write it down so you don't forget it. Also, just taking a break, going for a walk, getting your eyes off the screen or away from your desk, and getting a change of environment can do wonders. And Colorado is great for this, because it's beautiful. 
or like Archimedes, just go for a soak. We often think that if we just think really hard about something, like I'm not leaving this desk until I figure this out, that we'll figure it out. But we forget that rest is a big part of the process. Now let's talk about art. So art encompasses a lot of things, books, television, music, dance paintings, sculptures, and art really restarts me when I'm out of ideas. In case you haven't noticed from my outfit and my Ravenclaw blazer, I'm a huge geek. And the reason for that is the art that most restarts me is books and television and movies. So uh, for the past few years, I've spoken at Denver Comic Con about some of the fandoms that I'm in. So like Harry Potter, Doctor Who, Star Wars, Star Trek, the list goes on. And uh, I'm specifically a huge fan of science fiction and fantasy. And here's why. These two genres stretch your mind more than any other. They conceive of worlds, species, and realities that don't exist. There's nothing like losing yourself in another world to restart in this one with new ideas and new answers. So an example of this, uh, very themey since it was just Halloween, uh, is the film The Nightmare Before Christmas. So, sorry, spoilers if you haven't seen it. But Jack Skellington is the pumpkin king. He's the king of Halloween town. And after Halloween ends, he comes back, and everyone's like, that was great, you're amazing, Jack. And he's like, I guess so. Like, poor Jack, he needs a restart. So, smart man, he does the first part of this. He rests, he goes for a walk to clear his head, and he stumbles into another world. Christmas Town. And Christmas Town is unlike anything he's ever seen before. He is at once exhilarated and full of new ideas. And when I'm looking for a restart in my life or new creative ideas, inspiration can come from the unlikeliest of places. So if you need a restart, take an art that's completely new to you or completely unrelated to why you need a restart in the first place. You can read a fantasy book. I have so many suggestions for you. <laughs> you can watch a foreign film. You can listen to polka music. Anything that's new. You can look at paintings that you're not typically drawn to. Or just deep dive into the art that you do love. The important thing is to discover the unknown. Experiencing something new makes you new. Art makes you look at things in different ways from different angles and different perspectives. And when you're looking for a restart, different is exactly what you're looking for. So the next time you need a restart, uh, don't stay up all night focusing on the problem at hand. Just look at this word and get some rest and get some art and get ready to begin again. Thank you. Thank you.